Hey guys, so since we moved to an RV, our six bike rack that was already broken, we couldn't use it on the rear bumper of the RV because that's just really bad idea to use the rear bumper of your RV for your bike. So I got Black Betty's roof rack. I got all, I got five of the six bikes on there now. I can get the sixth and a Jeffrey's tiny little seventh bike on there. So I'm gonna order one more rack and we will have all the bikes with us and they will all fit on the roof rack. Really excited because as you guys know, when you're RVing, if it's not convenient and it's not with you, you're not gonna do it. When we were traveling, the bikes were having to be inside the RV, which means we couldn't, we didn't have a hallway. We couldn't get, we had to climb all over everything to get to the bathroom. We had to, we didn't have a table cause we took the table out so the bikes could fit there. So now, not only are the bikes out of the RV, but the bikes are on Black Betty, ready to go at a moment's notice, which is a big deal for us. So we could take off and get bikes and go ride. So uh, we got all seven of our bikes up on the roof of the car. This lovely little one, big one, I should say. This lovely big bike right here on this side is Joshua's new bike. We will introduce that bike to you soon. Um, but the bikes are on the roof of the car so that we can scoot when we need to. Um, not quite yet, but soon <laughs> we're excited. We're ready for the next step or the next, we're ready for the next adventure. So it'll be a lot of fun, but yep, we got all seven bikes up there, our original six, and then Joshua's new bike. Cause Jeffy hasn't, isn't quite big enough to move to Johnny's old bike. So everybody else has been able to move up except for Jeff. So yeah, what do you guys think? Are we crazy? Trying to carry seven bikes on the roof. <laughs> hey guys, so it has been a crazy two weeks. Um, very sporadic. And uh, because of the events that have happened in the last two weeks, uh, we haven't filmed too, too much. But we've filmed enough that uh, we're going to narrate this video a little bit to help out. So you guys can follow along the timeline really well. So... We start off where we're finishing our work camping in Eagle River, Wisconsin. We uh, had to leave there earlier than we expected, but uh, our thing was we needed to leave there before the first freeze. We didn't. We actually missed that by a day, and that is our fault. We should have left sooner, but as soon as the freeze happened, we took off, and while we were up there, we met some incredible people, some incredible friends, and we actually stopped and hung out with them on the way out of town. We met up with Doug and had lunch with him at a Chick-fil-A. You guys know we love Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and then we made our way down to our new friends, Ken and Anita. <clears throat> and we ended up staying at their house. And while we were there, it just so happened to work out. Uh, because the way we do our solar and battery install build sheets is on the build sheet, I build them out in stages so that people can, as normally everybody is on a budget, once you hit a certain finish of a stage, then we can do the install on what you currently have while you're working on the rest of the build sheet. That and way so, some stuff start working right away. Yeah, there's there's important things that are our first priorities. So... 
Uh, we got to start their install with them. They hit the first stage for them and we got to install that for them. And then we ended up staying at their house for uh, two nights. Mm -hmm. And while we were there, our first incident and in having to go to the ER happened. Um, our youngest had an unfortunate meeting with a coffee table. <laughs> and so I took him to the emergency room with our friend, Anita, and he ended up getting two stitches in his lip. Um, he did amazing. Everything was good. Uh, the only reason that he really needed it was because it was over the transition of the change in the color of your lip. Otherwise, they said they probably would have just let it heal. Um, so all is good, but he did end up getting two stitches. And all that happened within the first hour or two of us arriving at their house. So it was sad. <laughs> sorry, guys, but uh, stuff happens. Anyway, we uh, we enjoyed our two days with them. Uh, a lot. They had a ton of musical instruments that they had down in the basement room. And um, our we, boys thoroughly enjoyed that. All of our boys are super into um, music. And so much like their father. Um, so... We, they really enjoy that. And we have a clip of Jackson playing the drums. Next day, he got into the 80s unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. And so um, we didn't realize that they were literally like 10 minutes from Lake Michigan. So uh, w they took us on an adventure over to Lake Michigan. And uh, even though it was uh, 30 degree, Chilling. 40 degree water, uh, <laughs> all we all got in. got in. All the boys still got in. Still Jeremy got in. and I got our feet in. Um, Jefferson, of course, had already had his incident, so he was attached to me pretty closely, but they all had a really good time playing in the waves. Hey guys, so this is Lake Michigan in late October. The water is freezing cold, but... As you saw on the last one when we were at Lake Superior, we now only have two oceans, the Arctic Ocean and the Indian Ocean, and three of the Great Lakes left to get our feet in. Checking them off the list, guys. We only stayed there for two days and then uh, we made our way down to Kentucky Kentucky, and ended up realizing that some friends we hadn't seen since we got married, um, we hadn't seen them in about 12 years. And so we were uh, on the way to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And while we were on the way to there, we decided we were going to try to stop at Mammoth Caves. Well, we did stop. We just couldn't get into the caves. Um, they were no, they're no longer doing, I told you. <laughs> so they are no longer doing the self-guided, self-guided tours after Labor Day, um, which is what we wanted to do. So unfortunately we weren't able to make it into the caves on that visit. We will definitely be back because it looks like a lot of fun. We checked out the visitor center and learned a lot about how they're formed and that was really cool. Um, but we'll definitely be back. And then uh, because of that, we decided we were going to head to Bowling Green. We found a park that has a disc golf course on it, 18 holes. And so the boys were super excited to go do that instead. Hey guys, we are in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and we are waiting to meet up with some friends that we hadn't seen in what? At least 12 years. 12, 13 years, so they haven't met any of our boys. So this is going to be fun. 
but uh, they're a couple hours away still. So we found disc golf. So we're gonna play a round of disc golf and wait for them to get here. So we did that and then we met with our friend um, and had dinner with her and then after that we went and stayed in a state park in Tennessee it just was... over the border of Tennessee yep it was Cedars of Lebanon um, it was a beautiful park we did not get any footage there because we got there very late and then we left pretty early in the morning so that we could make it to Jeremy's brother's house um, to celebrate our nephew's birthday which worked out really well um, we had a whole lot of fun. The boys really enjoyed swimming in their pool and um, out riding in their, they had a cul-de-sac and the boys were out riding their bikes and Jefferson was doing a really good job. But unfortunately, they have a spot in their yard that has a big hole right next to the curb and their driveway. And Jefferson's front tire found it. Needless to say, he went over the handlebars and... Um, messed his mouth up pretty good right in the same area that he had stitches just a few days prior. Um, and so I took another trip to the emergency room with him, with my sister-in-law and, um, he and I waited there while Jeremy and Tanya made a switch because the rest of the family was making their way to the monster truck wars show while Jeremy and I waited in the emergency room until Jefferson could be seen. Um, they ended up saying that he did not need st need stitches because it would heal on its own. It was inside the mouth this time, so not on the outside. Thankfully, the stitches on the outside did not pop open, um, and they were holding it together. So they told us basically all we needed to do was make sure that those stitches stayed in an extra four to five more days. And to keep his mouth clean, they said to have him drink milk, mm -hmm. and that what we were already doing with the gargling of salt water after meals and stuff, just to keep doing that. Um, but there was gonna be swelling, as you will see in this next clip, because we asked multiple times and he insisted on not missing the monster trucks. So we, uh, we headed out to the monster trucks and as in all big events like that, they have a first aid place or an ambulance and EMS on site. And I ran over there and got a uh, ice pack in case uh, his face started to get sore, or the swelling started to get um, too bad for him. And so they gave me some ice packs and we ended up only using one there. But yeah, here's, he did us, amazing. here's, here's us watching some monster trucks. show and even though he was tired he made it through the whole show and had a great time and it's definitely a memory memory that he will never forget <laughs> nor will we and then guys if you've been with us from the way way beginning the original start of our channel was in Chattanooga Tennessee we are 
headed back to Chattanooga, Tennessee, yep. because that's where all the doctor stuff is for eyes and everything. So we're headed back there. So we'll pick up next week in Chattanooga. In Chattanooga at the original campground that we stayed at too. Yep. So, so. we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. We're on to the next adventure.